In this example, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a fiery job flow workflow which will automatically look at a file and decide whether or not to add bleed to the file for production. So here I have a business card which you can see has bleed in it based off the size and of course you can see it here in the file itself. Here is another business card again has bleed. Here is a catalog that does not have bleed. We have a calendar that does not have bleed. We have another business card that does not have bleed. And finally, a postcard that doesn't have bleed. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix this problem with Fiery Job Flow. So I'm going to open up Fiery Job Flow. I'm going to create a workflow. Hit the plus sign. And we're going to name this Add Bleed 0.125. This will add an eighth inch bleed to a file. We'll hit Create. Then we're going to add a module. And we're going to search for a module called Bleed. So once we find it, we're going to go to our correct option and we're going to select an option called Generate Bleed 0.125 and add it. Next, we're going to select an output source. In this case, it's going to be a folder called Ready for Production. It could also go to the Fiery automatically. So the first workflow is created. Now the second one we're going to create is going to check to see if it needs bleed. And now we're going to call that Add Some Bleed, Please, and hit Create. Again, we will add a module. So we'll go search for a module with the word bleed in it. And in this case, we're going to check it with a pre-flight to see if it needs bleed. And we'll hit add. So after we do that, we're going to add a rule. So this rule is going to check whether or not the file has bleed in it. So if it fails, meaning it did not find bleed, it'll move it to the workflow called add bleed and add bleed to the file. And if it found that the file did not need bleed, it will just pass down through to the output Again, we will change this to ready for production. So we're going to send it to a folder. And again, it could go to a Fiery, so we can look at it on the screen. So it took me about two minutes to set up this workflow. It would normally take somebody uh, probably a minute to three minutes to fix the files on their own. And Jobflow will fix these files simultaneously in a matter of seconds. So let's look at the finished results. I'm going to copy all the files that we want to fix into a folder that was created when we created the workflow called Add Some Bleed, Please. And we will then open up our Ready for Production folder and the files will start a populating that have been run through Jobflow. So what we can do now is select all these files, open them up with Adobe Acrobat and see the results. So here's a file that had bleed in it, which we did not touch. This file here had no bleed in it. It now has bleed built into it. This file here had no bleed in it. It now has bleed in it. This file here had bleed in it. We didn't touch it. This file here had no bleed. It now has bleed. And finally, the calendar had no bleed, and it has bleed. So this is how easy it is to create a workflow using Fiery Job Flow to automate adding bleed to files when it is required. And if you found this Fiery Friday video today helpful and informative, please make sure you give us the thumbs up. Have a great weekend.